Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in the subject, Artificial Intelligence is Agents in Artificial Intelligence. So far we have discussed about AI, Artificial Intelligence. What is the definition of Artificial Intelligence? Okay, so now coming to this, the agents that are in Artificial Intelligence. An artificial intelligence system is defined, can be defined as the study of rational agents and its environment. Okay, so the agent sense the environment. Okay, the agents sense the environment. What I am talking, what is this agent and what is what about the environment? What type of environment that I am talking? Let me explain. So here I am saying that the agent sense the environment. Agent is nothing but it's a particular uh, thing or particular equipment okay it is a particular uh, something that can sense the everything okay suppose if you take a car okay a car is an agent the car if it is an automatic car it uh, that is a self driving car it can sense the environment environment is nothing but whatever we are able to see in this world okay so suppose i am an agent okay the body whatever the body i'm having that, that that is an agent okay it's a physical structure is an agent so i'm able to see the complete environment i'm talking to you and i'm seeing uh, everything in the world that whatever i'm able to see that is an environment the things that are present i uh, whatever i'm seeing that is the environment and the agent uh, without the sense organs without uh, the body parts i can't work okay so with the help of the sense organ, I am able to sense the environment. The agent senses the environment. Means my physical structure is sensing the environment with the help of some sensors in my body. That is, a, uh, that is the agents in artificial intelligence. Whatever the uh, syst intelligence system we are taking, in each and every intelligence system is uh, designed with an agents. Okay, then the agents can react to the environment uh, based on the sensors okay so i hope you understand what exactly the agents is if not don't confuse still whatever the topics that i am discussing if you uh, go through forward you can get a clear idea okay so i said the agent sense the environment so how the agents can sense the environment the agent sense the environment through sensors and act on their environment so based on the sensors it can act on the environment means the agent can act on the environment through actuators so here the actuators is nothing but it is a device whatever the device that it is present uh, which is that can cause a machine to operate it's just a machine uh, to operate so the agent sends the environment with the help of the sensors and it acts on their environment with the help of actuators. So which, which are nothing but a device uh, that cause a machine to operate. So if you take the human body, okay, the human body is an agent. Okay, in the a I'm the agent, I can sense the environment. I'm just seeing everything here and I'm able to write everything here. Okay, that is an env uh, I'm doing some work. Okay, how? Through sensors. Okay, with the help of seeing and uh, talking, everything with the help of sensors, I'm able to perform. And that acts on their environment through actuators means it is a uh, device that cause a machine to operate means here my hand is able to write something how it is operating with the help of an actu actuators actually in the in the view of the human body you can't use these actuator sensors okay if, if it is a mechanical devices we can talk uh, the word sensors actuators and the agents environment but if you want uh, if you want to understand what exactly the agent is environment is actuator sensors i'm taking uh, the human body as an example okay so if you take a car simply car you can take okay so if you take the car so the car is an agent okay you can call uh, call car is an agent so in this car the car is moving how it is moving it's it's suppose if you can take the self driving car self driving car it's an which having the artificial intelligence 
the self driving car has the artificial intelligence so this car is an agent and it sends the environment it's just able to see everything the traffic okay the traffic gprs everything it is observing okay the whatever it is able to observing it is an environment so how this car is observing the environment because of the sensors that are present in the car okay these sensors and act on their environment through actuators the actuators is nothing but the devices that are able to uh, means with the help of the sensors the car is moving okay these are the actuators okay sensor is saying to that devices the device whatever the device that is present that is uh, since the sensor sensing the devices you have to move the car left and you have to move the car right that device you call it as an actuators okay it is saying to the uh, wheels of the car to rotate it's saying to the wheels of the car to move left or to move right like that so i hope you understand what exactly the agent is and artificial uh, environment and the sensors actuators so an artificial intelligent agent can have a mental properties like knowledge belief intention etc let me write that point the artificial intelligent agent can have mental properties mental properties like so what are the mental properties that it is having it's having the knowledge it's having the knowledge belief and even intention etc so that artificial intelligent agent that can have these properties then only it can feel and then only it can work on the environment okay so let me tell you exactly what is an agent i'm talking about agents in artificial intelligence i talked about the environment all those things that's like ex exactly what is an agent what is agent so the agent can be anything an agent can be anything anything that perceive a perceive means it's just like thinking like a real okay an agent can be anything that perceive environment environment or it can sense the environment through sensors through sensors the perceive means it can uh, think or it can uh, sense environment through sensors and act upon act upon that environment with the help of actuators environment through actuators so that you call it as an agent so simply you can say it's an a mechanical devices okay without any functions so it's just a thing so that is an agent so if you give some sensing organs and if you uh, uh, install the actuators then only it can perform the operation so an agent runs in the cycle of perceiving thinking and acting okay it's just running a cycle in the way of perceiving thinking and acting so the agents can be three types uh, okay an agent can be three types one is human agent a human agent robotic agent robotic agent or even the software agent so here you will get a clear idea of what exactly the agent is so in different aspects what is the agent so if you talk about the human agent so here the human agent is nothing but uh, we are the humans okay right so uh, when we talk about ourselves it we have eyes eyes ears and other organs are there in our body and other organs which work for sensor which work for sensors so all my eyes and ears everything the other organs are work for the sensors and hand legs or even the vocal tract whatever i am able to speak works for actuators works for actuators 
so this is about the human agent if you talk about the human agent we are having all these uh, uh, organs which work for the sensors and the remaining parts that work for the actuators so all these combinedly the human can perf uh, able to manage the environment okay he is able to see everything uh, that environment okay so that is a human agent then what about the robotic agent the robotic agent is nothing but you can call you can have a cameras so if you take any uh, a robot a robotic or whatever the mechanical device you are taking so they in that a cameras you call it as a robotic agent or infrared rays infrared range finder you can call it as a robotic agent or various motors for actuators then what about the software agent a software agent can have a keystrokes so in the, in the view of the software agent in the view of the software agent a uh, software uh, what what you call it as an agent the agent here is nothing but the keystrokes whenever you press a, press a key or a file contains a, a sensor input and it acts on those input and displays output on the screen so whatever the keystroke that you are giving so that will be accepted by the uh, actuators and the display will be uh, it takes the input and display output on the screen that you call it as a, a software agent so in that software agent the keystroke you call it as an agent in the software okay so hence the world around us is full of agents such as cell phones cameras and even we are also the agents i hope you clearly understand in the world around us the full of agents are there i said i in the world around us there are full of agents are there so what are those agents the cell phones whatever the phones that you are using that is a cell phone is an agent okay so it can be operated based on the sensors and the actuators okay and the camera phones the camera the the camera is having the lens it is able to uh, click the picture okay that camera is an agent and even we are also an agents is it clear so i hope you understand what exactly the agent is so if you understand what agent then you can easily understand what is the, what about this artificial intelligent agent so the agents in the artificial intelligence Thank you.